Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've been using Ancestry DNA for a while, you know the frustration. Those colorful ethnicity maps are fun, but not exactly research tools. Well, that might be changing. Ancestry's 2025 DNA update just rolled out, and it's making waves among genealogists for all the right reasons. So today, we're diving into what's new, how it actually helps your family history research, and whether this update finally makes DNA genealogically useful, not just genetically interesting. So, what exactly did Ancestry update this time? The big headline, Improved DNA Matching Algorithms and Enhanced Genetic Communities. Ancestry says they've refined how they calculate DNA relationships using more advanced phasing models and improved region-specific reference panels. That means you'll see more precise cousin relationships, especially for distant matches. Reduced false positives, where unrelated people once appeared as fourth to sixth cousins. And more stable ethnicity estimates, so your Irish percentage doesn't swing 10% overnight. But the star of the update? A deeper integration between DNA matches and tree data, something genealogists have been asking for for years. This is where it gets exciting. Ancestry has started linking DNA results with shared ancestor hints and genetic line grouping in a much smarter way. Now, instead of just showing that you and someone share DNA, Ancestry tries to group matches into genetic networks based on the family lines visible in your public trees. So if you and several matches all trace back to the same 4x great-grandparents, Ancestry can recognize that pattern and group you under a genetic lineage cluster. It's like taking the old through lines concept, but making it actually data-driven and more transparent. You can now filter your matches by these shared lineage clusters, which can highlight which branch of your family a DNA match belongs to without manually color coding everything. Ancestry also added some smaller, but really practical tools that make DNA analysis smoother. Smart labeling, you can tag and organize matches based on hypotheses or family lines. Notes sync, your match notes now sync better across devices and with the web version. Segment data, beta a limited rollout feature that gives users a simplified version of segment location data, not full chromosome mapping, but enough to see where matches overlap in a general region. It's still far from what third-party tools like Geed Match or DNA Painter offer, but it's a step toward making DNA analysis more native within Ancestry's own ecosystem. So, how does this change your day-to-day -day genealogy research? For one, you can move beyond ethnicity maps and start using DNA as actual evidence. These new clustering tools help confirm relationships that your paper trail suggests or point out new directions when records are missing. And since it's all happening inside the Ancestry platform, you don't need to export raw data or jump between sites. That means faster workflows, fewer compatibility issues, and easier collaboration with DNA matches who might not be tech savvy. In short, this update makes DNA analysis feel like part of genealogy, not just a side feature. Of course, it's not perfect. Ancestry still keeps chromosome-level data private, which limits how deeply you can verify shared DNA segments. And if your matches have no trees or private trees, the system still struggles to connect the dots. Also, the clustering system is algorithm-based. It's not always right. You'll still want to cross-check relationships and validate evidence manually, just like with any record or hint. So, did Ancestry's 2025 DNA update finally get genealogically useful? Honestly, yes, it's getting there. For the first time, DNA feels integrated with actual research tools rather than just a fun extra. It's not replacing traditional genealogy, but it's definitely helping strengthen and confirm your family tree. If you've ignored your DNA results for a while, this might be the update that makes you take another look. 
If you found this breakdown helpful, hit like, subscribe, and share it with a fellow genealogist who's been skeptical about DNA testing. And tell me in the comments, have you noticed changes in your DNA matches since this update rolled out? See you in the next video and happy researching!